boys and girls, today I'm here to talk to you about finding the area of a rectangle. And you might be asking yourself, why? Why do I need to know the area of a rectangle? Well, it's just a quicker way of actually finding area rather than having to count squares um, like we did the last time that we were working on area. So this only works with rectangles, however. So let's take a look at the formula. Exactly what is it? When we think about a rectangle, we know that a rectangle has a long side and it has a short side. Now the long side, some people refer to as the base because that's what it sits on if we were able to pick it up and set it on something. Um, but we also call it the length of that rectangle. So long length might help you uh, put those two together and, and make a connection there. And then we have the short side or the width of that triangle. So we can write the formula a few different ways, but they all mean the same thing. So if we take a look at the first way to write the formula, it says A for area equals L, which is our length, times W, which is our width. So this is one way that we can write that formula. Another way is A equals B, times h, where the b stands for the base, which is also the long side, and the h stands for the height. So I'll write this in here too, but some people refer to that as height. And then we can even shorten it even more by saying a equals lw. And anytime we have two letters placed together like that, that basically means we multiply them. So we could just leave that multiplication sign out, it still means the same thing. Or we could write A equals BH. Okay, so let's try some examples. I've got three examples here today. In the first rectangle, you'll see that I've already written my formulas for each one of these that we're going to do. Um, just to help me remember what that formula is and keep my numbers straight. I'm looking for the length first, which is going to be my long side here. So I'm going to say A equals 8 times, and my width is 2. So when I multiply those together, 8 times 2 is 16. I look for my label, inches, and who remembers the next part of that? Inches squared. So my area for this particular rectangle is 16 inches squared. Let's take a look at the next one. I have my formula already written down. My length or my long side is 15. Multiply times 3, which is my width. And I'm going to multiply that out over here. get 45 and my unit for this one is centimeters and it's centimeters squared don't forget so my area for this rectangle is 45 centimeters squared okay if we take a look at the next rectangle we have a pretty long one here 20 centimeters is my length so I'm going to take 20 times 3 is my width, and I think that's a mental math problem, 20 times 3. That's going to give me 60 centimeters, you guessed it, squared. Okay, so just to review, my formula for finding the area of a rectangle is A equals length times width, or A equals base times height. Um, and I have to make sure that I label my unit and make sure that it's squared every time, otherwise it's incorrect. So we've got to make sure that we do that. And make sure that you bring your notes and any vocab to class so I can check that you watch the video and mark it as done in Google Classroom. Thanks, guys. See you next time.